Okay, so with the sky in place, uh, I want to start uh, working on the actual uh, mountain itself. Now I'm going to start on the what's the, the right hand side, and that's what we've got here. This is the uh, this is the far right hand side of the uh, mosaic, and here's the right hand half of the uh, mosaic as I uh, calculated it with my uh, with my custom software, and so a lot of snow and then trees and rocks mixed in there, and then on the left hand side um, there's more cliff areas, and I uh, what I did with the picture is I kind of enhanced the the top part here because this is in the background the light color it's higher and in the background and then this is in the foreground and lower these are foreground hills and so basically it's sort of like the sun is is um, hitting the higher peaks the higher higher part of the ridge here more easily and so uh, that's lighter and then it's uh, the light gray is going to be the snow lower down this this uh, the picture that uh, that I made this mosaic from was taken in uh, late June, um, and um, this is called the Snowy Range. Um, uh, even into July and August, there can still be snow. In fact, there are some permanent snow fields uh, in this area, and it's a prominent landmark from the Laramie, Wyoming area. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is start the mountain by putting in the white for the snow. So I'm going to put my laptop off to the side over here where I can see it. Now the other thing I've done, uh, I have in orange here, I have these uh, fiducial marks and these are every 20 studs horizontal and every 10 studs vertical. So counting it zero here where the, ignoring the border, so it's 44 studs high, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, 44 studs high. It's um, 236 wide, which is 240 minus 2 on either side. So here's 200, 220, 180, 160. Um, for the white pieces, uh, I have quite a few uh, 2x4 plates, 2x2s, and 1x2s, and then I have lesser numbers of some of the other sizes. but. Uh, I'm going to try to use the 2x4s as much as possible and fill in with the, with the uh, smaller sizes. Now, uh, and just a reminder from last time, these um, uh, medium azure blocks here, those are going to get filled in with 1x2 uh, plates uh, of one by sorry one by two tiles of the medium blue. I just happen to not have any of those. I have those on order. Uh, I should be getting those pretty soon, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and I'm actually a little bit ahead of ahead of my uh, uh, posting schedule here, so I wanted to. But I saw those will be uh, by the time you're actually seeing this, I will I will have all those. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and keep going on the mosaic. Now I've got some choices here. <clears throat> And one of the, um, if we bring this back here, one of the, one of the things that I need to think about is at the top of the mosaic, or sorry, the top of the snow here, notice that there are these light blue, lighter blue uh, squares. That's, that's because of a combination of white and the uh, blue sky. So I just made all those medium blue. But I also have to be concerned here that on the edges that there can be um, whether that that you can get light gray also from a combination of blue and yellow or blue and white depending on just exactly uh, what the uh, RGB combination comes out to be. One of the things when you're trying to match colors uh, sometimes the matches can be a little weird um, and you can also see that in a couple other places like we got light uh, medium azure here and, and medium blue there and some of these little blue dots in the middle. Those are obviously not blue, that's just where the color matching algorithm didn't quite work in a spot where there's a mix of multiple colors uh, in, in one in the original image that made up that one pixel. Okay, sorry, I had sorry for the cut there, I had what we, what we call in technical terms a screw up. Um, so here is the original, this is the original picture. Get the cursor out of the way. So there's the uh, there's the original picture trying to keep it out of the glare, and that's actually a couple pictures stitched actually three pictures stitched together to make a mosaic. Um, 
And one of the things is that you can see that there are some little bit, uh, some rock areas near the summit there. And so that may, so I may want to make those actually gray. Um, now, the other thing I did was I did some adjustments to this to kind of, to uh, I made this whiter and also, also um, did some overall adjustments, contrast adjustments and such. Um, but I'm going to try to use the original picture as much as possible. So, for instance, right here, well, the very top, that probably should be white but that should be some kind of gray because of that rock feature. That could even be a dark brown, uh, like some of the other, uh, well, uh, some kind of a darker shade of brown like some of these other ones. Same thing here. Um, looks like there could be a layer of white and then we've got the rock in front. And so this and that are probably rock, um, but maybe that should be white up at the top. Okay, so where should I start? I think I'll go ahead and start here at the very highest, very highest point. So this is this is the actual highest summit here. This very high, this highest summit here is called uh, it's called Medicine Bow Peak. It's uh, just over 12,000 feet above sea level. So I want to start there, and this is one of the spots where um, it seems like I should have dark gray here, but at the very summit that all should be white, and then some kind of gray or brown below it. Now, I could make those rocks a little more brownish, but um, the, the rocks here are kind of grayish. Um, uh, one of the problems I had was trying to get uh, the rocks into a reasonable color um, and still have contrast with the, uh, with the snow. But I think uh, here, it seems like a good place to make this to go ahead and make that um, white. So uh, since I don't have a lot of, don't have, you know, I mean I have some one by fours, but I'll just go ahead and put uh, three one by twos right here to start out the mosaic, start out the mountain on the mosaic. Now I'm going to, um, there's going to be gray below that and over a little bit and poking down a little bit. So um, next over here, so this is going to be, um, let's see, five spaces and then actually it's going to be um, all the way over here, it's going to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and use a plate there. Sorry, two by four plate. A corner here. Okay, so that's one of the rock pieces. That's rock, and then here, there, and then down. And so I've got to finish the bottom here, which turns out is like this. This was the kind of the point here. Okay, so so that's all gray. That's all gray. So this is now the this is the this is now filled in with all the uh, actual white. The rest of this is either um, uh, light gray for snow or or other colors for rock. So um, this rock feature is that, and this area here is this, and then that little area is right here, and then that is that little area, and then this. Right there on the edge, that's going to kind of come up there. Um, that's very close to the edge here. This the the edge is the edge doesn't quite match here with the tile. It's probably shift a little over because uh, I, I uh, um, cropped the picture a little bit. Okay, but that that area here, that's all of all of this. And then you can see the line there, the line, line of demarcation um, right here between the foreground and the background. So anything below that is going to be uh, is going to be the uh, light gray for the snow. Now in this case I am going to go ahead and put in a kind of a placeholder here just very temporarily. Um, so for that uh, let me see what I've got. Um, I just want to make sure in that case uh, what have I got? So I got some one by threes. 
Okay. So I will actually get out my uh, light gray pieces. And that's just going to indicate that that's going to be gray. That's going to be gray as well. So now i got to start the white uh, coming down. But I've got a couple other other places that are going to be uh, going to be white. And so, you know, thinking about it, um, you know, here I didn't fill in with anything. But um, now I'm thinking that uh, in a, a couple of places here now, it may make sense to actually just fill in with temporary pieces. And then another another white. I might as well go ahead and branch and go ahead and cross over that. So uh, at that point, there's another two white here that sticks down. And then we can go eight across. And that's, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. And then here at the end of this, I've got to go, I've got a three and a two. Okay. Now, so um, there's going to be another rock area up here, but there are other rock areas um, in, uh, in that vicinity. Okay, so starting to get take shape with this. Um, uh, again, this is um, maybe a little boring to watch. Um, definitely requires some thought here, unless, unless you literally want to lay out everything exactly before you even put any pieces down. Uh, I prefer to have a, a pretty good idea what I'm going to do and then uh, figure out the details uh, when I'm on, uh, actually on the, uh, on the pieces. Now what I, want, what I want to do now is I want to, I'm going to be filling in this area here, but I want to go ahead and cut this off uh, right now. So, um, uh, I've got to do a little more work down here, but um, starting here, let's see, i got to go, it's going to be, uh, that means that uh, this is the farthest over that I'm going to, going to go. This is not all necessarily gray here, uh, but, um, but this will fill in white. I'm going to, so I'm going to run this down as far as it needs to go. So that's going to be my area to fill in. Okay, so I've uh, filled in all the white here, so um, anything that either has a placeholder in there or the gaps over here uh, is all going to be a non-white color. And so that didn't uh, take too long, and I'll, I'll fill these in later. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to work my way a little farther over. This is the first of the major cliffs. Um, in the range as you go from right to left. And so I think I'm going to try to get over to here. Okay, so I did a little bit of a modification over here because I wanted to emphasize a, um, a little snow feature in between some rocks that wasn't that was showing up light gray on my uh, in uh, uh, my mosaic calculation, but I wanted to make sure it was in there. And I've also included uh, some white pieces that are that are surrounded by rock colors, but uh, so here's all the way over to the big, uh, the big cliff, uh, the big. Uh, I believe this is called Old Main. I believe this feature, this rock feature that we'll put in there. Um, but now everything else in here should be in white uh, for the uh, highlighted snow. Okay, I'm trying to cover up that glare a little bit. So I've got this uh, filled in and just got this last part up against the cliff to fill in. That doesn't mean I might make some tiny adjustments in here as I uh, put in the uh, rock colors. Um, so often this is coming out to be odd numbers. Five, you know, I mean, it's, it's just so many places where... Uh, uh, I'm finding, I mean, it happens all the time, but, you know, it feels like in this case, I'm having to uh, deal with a lot of odd numbers, and I have very few 1x3s, and as I've mentioned before, 1x3, both 1x3 plates and bricks tend to be uh, expensive, or at least relatively speaking, uh, more expensive than other pieces.
and I have tons tons of these one by twos. So I'm trying to use a lot of those. But I'm also I also have a good number of two by four, so I'm trying to find a lot of places to put those in. But I don't want to create huge numbers of spaces where I use single bricks either, because that's kind of inefficient. So I've got uh, the snow basically in the, uh, we'll say more or less the, the upper snow in the right hand half of the mosaic with possibly some slight adjustments. And then next I need to put in the appropriate colors for rocks and then build out this, uh, this cliff area here. Um, and then I, I have to decide whether or not, uh, just how I want to do this, whether I want to start putting in snow down here. Um, the hardest part is kind of this this line in this area near the transition so that may take me a little while still got a ways to go but uh starting starting to take shape and um so stay tuned uh, for the next update